The Spotlight pane allows you to choose whether or not certain items will appear in Spotlight searches. I'll do a search for Photos, which turns up the Photos app as the top hit, and I'll learn Photos for OS X training app directly below that. Then there are a bunch of documents, folders, images, and movies located in the search. If I'd rather not have movies turn up in any Spotlight searches, I can just uncheck them here in Spotlight System Preferences. Now if I redo that search for photos, no movie or video files will turn up in the Spotlight results. This checkbox below the list of categories has to do with the lookup function on your Mac. If I select any word in any app on my Mac and right or control click on it, I can select Look Up. With this option on, more than just the definition will turn up. I get Wikipedia entries, web videos, and even Twitter results in some instances. Much like I would if I had searched for this term in Spotlight. Uncheck this box and Lookup is only going to return the definition of the selected word. At the bottom of the window here, I can change or disable the keyboard shortcuts for Spotlight. Clicking here is actually going to bring me into the Keyboard System Preference pane. Uncheck the shortcut to deactivate it. Double click on the shortcut itself to enter a different shortcut. I can change the shortcut to show spotlight from command spacebar to shift command spacebar just by typing that key combination in here. In the privacy tab, I can add folders or entire drives that I don't want spotlight to look into at all. I've already added a few folders here. To select something to exclude, just hit the plus symbol and then locate it. I'm going to exclude this entire external hard drive. Now nothing on that drive will appear in Spotlight search results.